Hi, my name's Ava Ruggiero, and I'm going to be singing Naughty from Matilda the Musical. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. So they say the subsequent fall was inevitable. They never stood a chance they were written that way. Innocent victims of their story. Like Romeo and Juliet, just written in the stars before they even met. That love and fate and a touch of stupidity would rob them of the hope of living happily. The endings are often a little bit gory. I wonder why they didn't just change their story. We're told we have to do what we are told, but surely. Sometimes you have to be a little bit naughty. Just because you find that life's not fair, it doesn't mean that you just have to grin and bear it. If you always take it on the chin and wear it, nothing will change. Even if you let all you can do a lot, you mustn't let a little thing like little stop you. If you sit around and let them get on top of you, might as well be saying you think that it's okay and that's not right. from Matilda the Musical. Have you ever wondered will I have about how when I say say red for example there's no way of knowing if red means the same thing in your head as red means in my head Someone says, Red, tell if we are traveling at almost the speed of light. We're holding a light, and that light will still travel away from us. At the full speed of light, which seems right away. 
what I'm trying to say, I'm not sure, but I wonder if inside my head I look just a bit different than some of my friends. These answers that come into my mind did be in these stories delivered to me fully written. When everyone shouts like they seem to like shouting, the noise in my head is incredibly loud. I just wish they stopped my dad and my mom in the telly and stories would just stop for once. I'm sorry, I'm not quite explaining it right. This noise becomes anger and the anger is light. This burning inside me would usually faint, but it isn't today. In the heat of the shouting, my heart is pounding and my eyes are burning. And suddenly, everything, everything is quiet. Like silence, but not really silent. Just that still sort of quiet. Like the sound of a page being turned in a book. Or a pause in a walk in the woods. Like silence, but not really silent. Just that nice sort of quiet. Like the sound when you lie upside down in your bed. Or the sound of your heart in your head. And though the people around me, their mouths are still moving. It is quiet and I am warm like I've said